In this video, I'm going to talk about the Clover inventory from the Clover dashboard. So just keep in mind, when I say Clover dashboard, what I'm referring to is when you go to clover.com and you log in from your laptop, your computer, your iPad, this is called the Clover dashboard. So, and then you also have the inventory on the, on the Clover device, which monitors or follows along with this inventory. In other words, if I delete the add avocado from here, it will delete from the Clover device. So the two of them always talking to each other. In other words, they're always in sync. So when you go about and trying to look at your inventory, make changes, it's very important to understand the Clover inventory. So one way you can do is from the Clover device, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about it from the Clover dashboard. Please watch the other videos where I talk about it from the Clover device. So here is the dashboard. You have inventory, you have items, categories, modifier groups, printer labels, revenue class, setup. So we're gonna focus on these three ones right here. Items, categories, modifier groups. So keep in mind that um, uh, your inventory is connected to your location. There are many times where um, a business owner will make changes to their inventory and then they go to their Clover device and then they say, oh, it doesn't match up, what happened? How come what I did did not reflect on there? That's because they're on the wrong location. So it's very important if you have multiple locations, even if you have a single location, just come here and click on this down arrow to make sure you're making changes to the correct location. Because I, I, I've seen this so many times um, that it does uh, cause a lot of confusion. Uh, so you want to double check here, okay? Let's suppose you do have uh, multiple locations and they have the same exact spelling. So maybe you want to change the name, right? Uh, so perhaps, let's, let me give you an idea. I'm going to go to Accounts and Setup. And then you can go to um, Business Information. And perhaps you may want to give it a slightly different name, right? If this is called Pokemon Stafford, maybe you want to say, um, you know, Pokemon Stafford um, 2 or something like that. Or I don't know, just give it a slightly different name if you have two of the same names. So that way you know when you make changes to it, you're at the right location, okay? So that's very important to know that information. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you some guidance on how to work your inventory. So the first thing you do is obviously go on the inventory tab. And in this scenario, in this example, I'm gonna talk about how to export an inventory to a new location, a brand new location. Typically, your sales agent, your uh, the person that sold you the Clover or the bank or Clover itself will do this for you. But sometimes maybe they forgot to do it or uh, whatever the reason is, they did they did not do it correctly or they forgot a few of your items and you want to kind of do it yourself. I'm gonna give you some guidance. Um, again, at the time of this video, this is what it looks like. Uh, this dashboard may look different when you see it. For example, see how I can click on this button uh, and I can choose layout. I can actually uh, make it look different. Uh, there's a way, there's actually a button here that says switch to a different layout. So by the time you watch this video, it may look different. Okay, but the idea for uh, as of now is to get a general idea. So we have items, categories. Inside a category are items. Inside modifier groups are modifiers. So what do I what do I mean by that? So when I say the word um, pick your protein, I am telling my customers you can choose proteins to add to your bowl, and I'm giving them all these bowl or protein options that they can add to their bowl. And I'm also telling my customers that the most you could add in terms of, of a protein is three. How do I know that? Because I put it right here. It says maximum three, required three, right? So in other words, when I sell my bowl for 12 bucks or 10 bucks, I'm giving them the maximum of three, right? Because imagine they add 20 different proteins. That's going to make you lose money. So it's very important that you make sure you put a maximum if you're, if you're allowing your customers especially when you're giving them the online solution because if they're doing it online themselves and you don't put a maximum, they'll add a bunch of protein. It's not their fault because they don't know. They think that you're allowing all these options. So anyhow, that's just some uh, information that's good, useful to know. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the inventory export. Here's the inventory, as you, as you can see here. So what I do now is I press the three dots right here. See the three dots? And then I press export. When I press export, your computer would automatically do an export, okay? In most cases, it will export it to your desktop, 
If not, check your downloads folder. Just find it, look around, you'll see it, okay? So I exported it. Now I have a new location that I just got. Uh, and what's and you're asking the question, how come there's a new location? Perhaps your Clover got old and you want to get a new Clover device and then you change processing companies or perhaps you found a better processor. Perhaps there's so many reasons pe people change Clover devices. And when you change Clover devices, that means you have a new merchant ID. When you have a new merchant ID, that means you have a new account. When you have a new account, that means you have to re-upload your inventory. But if you all you did was just you know, uh, get a new Clover without changing your merchant ID, then you don't have to worry about any of this stuff because you're any of any of these steps because your inventory is maintained. But in this example, I have this location that got a brand new Clover with the new merchant ID. So here's a new one. Luckily, the new one has a different spelling. It's capitalized, so I know this is new. So as you can see here, it's it's a fresh inventory. There's nothing there. It's asking me a question. It's saying to me. Do you want to add it one by one? One by one, as you can imagine, that'll take, that'll take at least a, a day or two, right? Imagine adding them all over again one by one. That's one option. The other one is download a template, and then you can fill it out on Excel. The other one is to import your menu spreadsheet, okay? So this is where a lot of people have problems, is when they import it, they get all kinds of errors and saying, you forgot to do this, you forgot to do that, you forgot to do this. And these are valid points because importing and exporting does require some little bit of editing or modification. So the first thing you want to do is you want to you want to pull up the uh, inventory that you exported from your older location. So here's the inventory that I exported earlier. As you may, as you may recall, I exported this inventory. As you can see, it has everything here. Okay, let me actually make this a little bit wider so you can see this field too. Okay, I have my item names here, right? Items, modifier groups, categories, tax rates. Because um, you want to keep that same information to your new location. And of, of course, if you change some pricing, you can always change it right now. Let's say this thing is 250 now, you can change it to 250 right now. Make sure to press save changes. Okay, so here's the confusing part that I've seen a lot of merchants have problems with. Um, the issue comes when you get a new merchant ID and then when you import it, you get an error message. Let me show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, I have all my items here, which is great. Uh, let me see how many I have. Let me move this a little bit to the right here. Okay. I have uh, 84 items. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, 84 items. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's correct, huh? I was thinking I would have more than like, more like 200. Um, but if that's what it's telling me, then that's, it means that's what I have. Let me see how many categories I have. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. So again, you may have 500 items, you may have 1,000, you may have 50, you may have 20. And then tax rates, usually one or two tax rates. Yeah, 10.3. Okay. Okay, so we have tax rates, categories, modifiers. Let me just let's check out the modifier groups. So, yep, modifiers are here. Okay, so we have this too. All right. So that's that's some good information. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that okay i'm going to go ahead and import and then i will show you the error message that's going to come up okay so i i actually exported a few times earlier but i'm going to use the newest one i did let's take a look at this one here okay i'm, I'm pretty pretty confident i'm going to get a bunch of errors which is typical uh when you first do it because it is it's a little tricky it says my inventory imported 0 out of 0, 0 out of 0, 35 out of 46, 2 out of 2. Okay, so let's see the the errors here. What's the errors we got here? It's saying that this modifier is duplicate of one earlier in the modifier group. This modifier is duplicate of one earlier in the modifier group. Okay, so row 40, uh, row 42, row 44, row 46 are all giving me these kind of error messages. So let's go ahead and take a look at why I'm getting these error messages. Um, let's go to row 40 here. Okay, row 40 under modifier groups, um, step two. Let's see what it says here. I'm going to make this bigger here. Uh, it says step two, sauces. Okay, uh, let's see. So, okay, this modifier is duplicate one early in this modifier group. Okay, that's kind of vague question or vague answer. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but let's figure it out. Okay, 
step two sauces. Oh, I see. Oh, could it be that these two are the same? Yeah, I see what they're saying. So one has a star, one does not. One has a star, one does not. So my conclusion from this is this, they may have a secret menu, okay? Um, they may have a menu where they probably don't fully advertise or fully um, show everybody, but they have it built in because it has a star next to it. So that tells me there's there's something going on here. See how there's a star there and this one does not have a star, right? Even though it's the same wording. And then this one says Avocado GFV Plus. And this one is $2, $1, okay? So why would they have two like this? Um, same thing here. See how it has two? And because of this, the computer is telling me that 40 and 42 are duplicates. Let me take a look at 40 and 42. 40 and 42. Hold on, let me take a look at this again. Let me see if you read. Of one earlier. Okay, of one earlier. So we're going to conclude that. It's talking about the one before it. Yeah, so 40. Okay, if one earlier, it, should be, it, should, it shouldn't be that one. It should be one earlier is not that. Let me read that one more time. Okay, let's see what it says. This modifier is a duplicate of one earlier in the modifier group. Row 40. This modifier is duplicate one in the group. Let's, let's take a look at 42 here. Okay, 42. It should be one after, not earlier, because this is earlier it means before. It should be after. So I'm not sure why I'm saying earlier. Okay. Let's try something. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the, all the Clover ID numbers. Let's see if that solves it. So just, just if you have a MacBook, uh, click on the first one right here, the Clover ID, uh, because of the, these are the item names. And then go all the way to the bottom, and then press Shift, and then click on this one, and then press Delete. What I did was I removed all the item ID numbers, OK? And then, of course, uh, save it. Uh, let's see. Save. Okay, I'm just going to write that so I can remind myself what I did to it. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Okay, it's saying this didn't obviously did not work, so I'm going to start a new import. And then remember how I named it earlier, this name here? So I'm going to go ahead and try that again. Ooh, we got some good news here. Looks like it worked. It's saying that no errors, which is great. So basically, the way to solve it was to remove all the item ID numbers. Okay, let's let's take a look here. Come on. Okay, cool. So this message is great. I like that. So he's just saying to wait. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait around um, and see what happens. You you just made an inventory import. What would you like to do next? Success. Actually, I don't have to wait. I think it's done. Let me take a look here. Back to my inventory. There we go. So what did we just accomplish today? I know the video dragged on longer than expected, but I wanted to kind of show you guys the little difficulties you may encounter and how you can go about solving it. If my solution does not work where you delete the item ID numbers, um, you know, then you may, you may want to reach out um, to some Clover um, and they can help you, help you with that. Um, but that's how I did it. Um, and while I'm on this topic here, I do want to let you guys know um, that we do take this inventory and we do put it online on an iPhone or on an Android device where people can order online and it gets sent to your Clover device. And here's what I mean by that. See, we make it for your iPhone Android app and an online order. And then we can take that inventory you have and get your online orders, okay? So if you want to learn more about this, please give us a call, email us. Uh, we're here for you. We want to help you. Um, that way you can get additional revenue, additional profit coming to your business by using online orders. And we can talk to you, uh, take a look at your menu, see if it's a good fit. If it's a good fit, it'll work. Um, and we also do social media marketing too. So we have great testimonials, great reviews. Uh, we would like to help business, owner, business owners succeed and flourish. Uh, we're, that's what we're here for. Uh, feel free to check out our website out. It's called Zaytech.com. Zaytech.com. Or just do a Google search for Zaytech and you'll find it. And we're located in California. And we offer uh, solutions uh, for Clover, which is our main focus is 
basically uh, online ordering and social media marketing. So if you need social media marketing or online ordering, uh, give us a call. Thank you so much for your time. Um, sorry to make the video so long, but um, sometimes it takes a long video to kind of solve some of these challenging inventory import uh, things that may come up. All right, have a, have a fantastic day and uh, please do subscribe to our videos. Thank you.